Good evening. I'm Beth Farnsworth. And I'm CJ Ward. We are following the Alisal fire, keeping a close eye on what it's doing right now. It started a little after 2 o'clock this afternoon at Fairway Place. That's near Alisal Reservoir. It's already moved all the way down to the 101 freeway near Refugio. That's along the Gaviota Coast. Mandatory evacuation orders are in effect right now at Arroyo Hondo and Arroyo Quemada, also Refugio Canyons. And uh, joining us now live on the phone is Los Padres National Forest spokesman Andrew Matson, who's joining us. We talked to him in. Uh, Okay, for, we, he's going to be on the phone in just he's a second. Sorry, a minute, yeah. jumping the gun. We're going to talk to Scott Sheehan, our reporter who's out there live in the field. And boy, you just have these huge flames behind you. That uh, that fire really moved quickly within a matter of minutes from the top of the mountain all the way down to the 101, Scott. So, Scott, where are you right now? All right, so Beth, CJ, yes, it, it did. When we first got here, we saw a lot of the smoke. Now, if I step out of the way a little bit, you can see just the flames on one side of the 101. The 101 is currently shut down. So if you're heading from north to south at the 1, at the 101, and then all the way down to Winchester Canyon Road, these flames and this smoke just making it too dangerous for people to be on the 101. Last time I talked with the Santa Barbara County Fire, they were estimating about 600 acres had burned, and they were estimating or projecting projecting that it could get up to as much as a thousand acres and they were anticipating it getting possibly to the ocean and that is what we saw when we drove up here we saw that flames had jumped over the 101 on the ocean side the south side of the 101 and that was part of the closure now they the CHP did get everyone that was stuck after the closure all the way through but there are still more evacuation orders so Refugio Canyon um, Arroyo Camita, Arroyo Hondo, Tahigas, all of those are evacuation areas over near Gaviota. And it's because of this wind that is really making it difficult for the Santa Barbara Fire Department, the Santa Barbara County Fire, the CAL Fire, uh, the, the, the Forest Service, all of them trying to uh, contain this fire. But because of the wind and the terrain, they're saying that they're just staying near buildings to protect buildings and property because it's just too hard for them to do the perimeter of this fire because of the winds and the terrain. Again, they're expecting winds upwards into the 70 miles per hour overnight. So they're anticipating needing to be out here overnight and possibly even uh, into the, the days. But what we're seeing here, you, we could feel the heat as it moved right down the hill right in front of us. A fire or sorry, a power line is catching on fire and it's just a lot of flames and smoke right here along the 101. So again, 101 is closed because of this. They're anticipating again into the thousand acres of, of burn right here along the Gaviota Coast. Reporting live, I'm News Channel reporter Scott Sheehan. And Scott, real quickly, it is now a thousand acres in size. Uh, we just yes. had that confirmed and it was a great vantage point where you're standing and then padding off, you can see the ocean right there. Right, and you can see how strong the winds are. So folks at home watching, right now can you tell us exactly where you're located so people know where this fire is burning so as far as where we are we're probably about a half a mile right up the 101 from Refugio State Beach so we just tried to go a little bit because that's where we saw the smoke and as we got here uh, we saw all the flames so we pulled over we looked on the, the side of the road, so that is these flames. The state beach is just maybe about a half a mile right down 101 from us. And are you right by a home? It looks like a driveway right over your shoulder, your right shoulder. I'm sorry, one more time. Is that a home? It looks like a driveway right behind you over your right shoulder where you're standing. I haven't found out, but yes, there, there, there is the driveway right there that we're watching. We were watching various different power poles catching on fire as, as the fire moves down, but I'm not sure exactly if, what kind of property that could be as far as that paved uh, driveway that's just right over my shoulder. Okay. All right. Thank you. And I know it's hard to hear because he's yes, got this little earpiece and the wind is probably blowing at 50 miles an hour. Scott, thank you so much. We'll check in in a bit. I also want to add one more thing. Scott was just giving us a list of the evacuation areas. We've also confirmed that Dos Pueblos Ranch is also under an evacuation, okay. uh, mandatory evacuation right now. Okay, uh, we're going to go to the phone now. Do we have uh, Andrew Matson joining us now on the phone? All right, so uh, joining us now, Andrew Matson from the Los Padres National Forest. Thank you for joining us again, Andrew. Can you hear us? 
Maybe we don't have them. Okay. Okay, we're hoping to talk to him. We talked to him in the 5 o'clock uh, half hour as well. So we do know because of the strong winds, expecting 70 mile an hour gusts, no air support at all to help fight this fire. And they're expecting those 70 mile per hour winds until 3 o'clock in the That's morning, right. so that may be one of the trouble spots. Um, let's try Andrew again. Andrew, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Oh, there we go. Hi, Andrew. So we were just looking at a live shot with Scott Sheehan. He says he's about a half a mile, say, west of Refugio State Beach, and it looked like the hill behind him had already burned. So can you tell us how close is that fire, the, the front line of the fire, how close is it to the actual um, State Beach area? So it's getting close, and the way the wind's blowing out there, it's, um, it's moving very rapidly, so from minute to minute. Um, difficult to pinpoint it, but um, the conditions out there, talking with some of our fire staff that have been working on the forest for 20 years, um, they've never seen uh, wind on fire quite like what they're seeing out there this evening. The wind direction seems to be uh, problematic, to, to say the least, because of and now it's kind of burning parallel to the beach. Is that correct? Yeah, it, it's kind of doing a, a number of different things down there. And so if we're looking at it and if it's going to be moving kind of easterly along the front there, um, one of the things that, that we have working in our favor is that it'll, in short order, be up in the in the Sherpa fire burn scar. And the lack of rainfall over the last few years, we haven't really seen that vegetation regenerate. So um, that would definitely give some possibilities to, uh, to fire crews as far as a place to anchor in and try and stop the forward spread fire was back in 2016 so yes that is a little bit of a silver lining with this fire uh, we, we were talking earlier about how quickly the flames marched down the mountaintop all the way down to the 101 can you go back and just talk a little bit about the area where this fire broke out about two o'clock this afternoon yeah so it was up near the the top there of the ridge line and um, you know the prevailing winds were pushing it towards the ocean and um, at one point, we were seeing some spot fires about a mile out in front of the main front. And so that just gives you an idea. It really moved down the hill quickly. We were talking about um, it getting down to the 101 around 5.30, 5.45, and I think it, it beat us by about 20 minutes there. It was, it was moving exceptionally fast downhill. And considering the conditions that you can't get air support up there, difficult to get the firefighters up into the canyons, kind of defenseless for firefighters right now. I mean, what is their role? I mean, what can they do under circumstances like what you're dealing with right now? So we're focusing on, on point protection for some of the homes and the infrastructure, as well as assisting as, as we can with evacuation. But you're exactly right. Um, we're not going to be putting firefighters into an unsafe position. And when you've got wind speeds 40 to 60, um, there really isn't a safe place to put firefighters out in front to try to stop it. And so um, we're, we're kind of taking some indirect action at this time and waiting to see if the, the weather really is dictating fire behavior at this point. Andrew, we know that there are roughly 100 homes and ranches, ranchettes throughout those canyons right there. Um, can you talk about the status of those? Have any burned at this point? I am not aware of any that have burned. Um, obviously, there's potential. There's a lot of grazing that goes on up there, a lot of livestock. So I'm sure the concern is trying to get folks um, out of there as quickly as they can. And there, I know there's some assistance available to people for livestock, but um, you're exactly right. There's, uh, there's a number of, of infrastructures and homes in that area. And our, our firefighters are doing what they can to assist with an evacuation. Uh, yeah, I would imagine, this is probably a, a great message for folks sitting at home. We know how dry it is. Uh, we really have not had any really hot spells, but all of a sudden the wind kicks up once and we get a fire. So it just talks about the type of weather conditions we live in where when the winds start kicking up over 20, 25, 30 miles an hour, the fire threat just exponentially increases. It does, and it takes away that time, and so that's what, what people really need to do is have that plan and work a lot with our, our partners at Santa Barbara County Fire with the Ready, Set, Go program. and. Um, you know, living in these wildland areas, we need to have that evacuation plan ready to go, have those important papers and other um, key pieces of, you know, documentation and have it all ready to go because you just don't know. And when it does happen, you're not going to have a whole lot of time to prepare at that point. Right. 
Okay, and then just just one more quick quick question uh, near the Alisol Reservoir where the fire broke out around two o'clock. Are there power poles, electrical poles in that area? What what's kind of in that vicinity? It's very remote. Yeah, I know there are quite a few power poles out there, and, and watching some of the coverage, I, I saw a few poles that are on fire, and so that that's another concern if you get some of those live wires coming down, and um, as far as the energy companies de-energizing some of those lines, but. You're exactly right, Beth. There's a lot of power lines that crisscross back up in there, and um, and all those poles are wooden, and and so yeah, they're all susceptible to fire. So folks need to be aware of that if they're out in that area. All right, Andrew Madsen, Los Padres National Forest. Thank you again for checking in. I we're going to probably call you again tonight. Hopefully that's okay. <laughs> we appreciate you joining us. Okay, thanks. All right, All right, thanks, Andrew. And again, there are mandatory evacuations in effect tonight, as we've just talked about. The sheriff's office issued the evacu evacuation order for the area of Arroyo Hondo Canyon, Arroyo Quemada, Refugio Canyon. We also are adding Dos Pueblos Ranch to Higuas area as well, all west of Goleta. Everyone in those areas needs to leave immediately, of course, and a lot of those people already obviously have left. We're hearing that there's a lot of traffic on the 101, people trying to get out. And a lot of that traffic are the people trying to get out with their horses and yep. other livestock. And so Santa Barbara County Animal Services is helping with animal evacuations right now. Livestock can be brought to the Earl Warren Showgrounds in Santa Barbara. If you need help evacuating your animals, you can call the number on your screen. You see the number there, 805-681-4332. We're going to turn things over now to Sean Quinn and the First Alert Weather Center. So are the winds kind of dying down or staying very steady? Yeah, I know. We've had all the forecasts saying a real extreme event. I'm going to go ahead and say that this one's uh, kind of in the moderate range. It's obviously very strong. Any wind is bad news, but at least uh, the, over the last couple of hours, it's been heading in the right direction. And around Refugio, excuse me, uh, the winds have dropped to about 30 on the gusts, 15 miles sustained. Although looking at the live shots, it might be a little bit more here and there, depending on uh, the bottom of the canyons versus versus uh, maybe mid elevation. So we're keeping a close eye on it. And of course, as it marches south, southeast, uh, we'll watch it all night. Guys, I'll send it back to you and I'll have a forecast in just a few minutes. A quick question, Sean, before you go, because we've been hearing, you know, 30 miles an hour, 35. We heard 70. We're talking 70. We're probably talking about the main, the, the hardest gusts that would be out there. Is that correct? Right, absolutely. And of course, in the bottom of the canyons, we talked about this, where you can get the accelerated winds and you can get maybe wind speeds that aren't being picked up by the gauges, but at the bottom of the hill where those winds can really compress, you can get those extreme speeds. So again, vigilance will be the word as we go into the evening hours. All right, thank okay. you, Sean. Thanks, Sean. I want to give you a live look now at the, uh, the massive smoke plume from the Alisol fire. It's actually visible from space. Uh, this video, sorry, Sorry, it's not live. It's a video. It was taken above uh, from the ISS International Space Station above there, which captures video from the ISS. All right, we have some video just into our newsroom tonight showing the warning signs up along the 101 freeway, showing the closure because of the Alisol fire. This is from the Caltrans camera in Los Alamos, and you can see it says southbound 101 closed ahead, use 154. Highway 154 is the detour for anybody heading between north and south Santa Barbara County right now. Again, the 101 freeway is closed between Highway 1 on the northbound side to Winchester Canyon on the southbound side. 